Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 35 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have two numbers, A and B, and we have a third number, C, where C can be measured by both A and B. And if E is the lowest common multiple of A and B, this proposition states that E will also measure CD. So to prove this, we are going to do it by contradiction. So we are going to assume that CD is not measured by E. So let DF be a, a number that is measured by E, and the remainder of the line CD in other words, CF, be less than E. So we have the lowest common multiple of A and B is E. So in other words, E measures is measured by A and B. And we also have that DF is measured by E. So therefore, A and B will also measure DF. And we can see this visually if we look at this is E. And since A measures E, it nicely measures it here. And again, it will do it the same. Or we can look at it algebraically, and we can see that since E is equal to RA, DF will be measured P number of times of E. E is RA. So we can see that A measures DF. What's interesting here is that as far as I know, Euclid never actually proves this. Now CF is equal to CD minus DF. Now CD is a multiple of A and DF is a multiple of A, so hence the result CF will also be a multiple of A, and similarly for B. So CF can be measured by A and B. However, CF is less than E, but E is the lowest common multiple of A and B. So A cannot measure, A and B cannot measure CF if CF is less than E and E is the lowest common multiple. So this is where we end up with our contradiction. So the original hypothesis that CD does not, is not measured by E cannot be true. So therefore, CD is measured by E. And that's it for this proof.